<laughs> hey guys, how's everybody doing? Iceman again, and we are going to be again playing Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo for PS1. Uh, last time we did a Ryu playthrough, and now we are going to do a Akuma playthrough. And Akuma, for most iterations of Street Fighter 2, or or Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, I should say, um, in most iterations of the game in tournament play, Akuma is usually banned, um, just because of how OP he is. <coughs> mm. Last time, I think we played on the medium speed. Um, this time, we're going to crank it up all the way. It's not much of a difference, but when you're playing with uh, Akuma, you can make things all the more interesting. And I see there's a shortcut. Um, option. I'm not exactly for sure what that does. I assume it has something to do with special moves or um, super moves. If anyone knows what that does, let me know. I could look it up, but um, if anyone wants to comment and tell me what shortcut does in the options menu, that would be really cool. <sighs> As you can see, of course we're playing on a you know faster speed, but Akuma's attacks are just uh, devastating. Now I thought. I thought his raging demon move was in this game, but he, he doesn't have a super uh, bar down below, so I guess he doesn't have a super attack in this version. Which, uh. Okay. Okie dokie. And round one, you know, fight one is over. Jamaica! Huh. Should have done this earlier, but I had to eat. I had to watch some X Files. Okay. Now Akuma has the same basic moves as uh, Ryu and Ken. He is a Shoto clone, as they're called. Uh, but he has a few additional special move options. He can throw fireballs from the sky, or in air rather. Uh, the CPU can throw two fireballs. Pretty sure this one only throws uh, one at a time. Of course he's got the flaming fireball. Is that an oxymoron? Um, flaming fireball, same as Ryu. Uh, he also has a teleport maneuver. It uses the same basic input as the Dragon Punch, except you you hit a different. I think you hit two uh, two kicks together, and then it, it's like a it's like a dodge type of move. You can you can go either forward or back. India. Oh, no, I'm forgetting something. It might be it. And there's a lot of variations with the teleport, but. Um, I don't really know them all right off the top of my head. Come on. Yeah. 
He used to have a lot of trouble with uh, Dalsim back in the day, but here lately he's he hasn't been giving me much of an issue. Oh, okay. I think I had some input drop there. The Shoryuken maneuvers I'm having some issues out of it, out of during these sessions for whatever reason. I can do them, you know, pretty good on on the Xbox versions, um, as well as different versions of you know Street Fighter, Street Fighter Four in particular. Man, that that just it felt really good. England, England, and and the HD version. Um, the moves pull off uh, very easily, so could be the type of controller I'm using. Again, I'm using the Microsoft Thrustmaster. It's an older controller, but I think it feels very similar to the Super ugh, Super Nintendo controller. Probably just off by the timing. Nice. Okay. I was actually trying to do a, um, a whirlwind kick. I was trying to do that in mid air. Uh, I kicked her instead, but it got the win. So that's that's good. <laughs> Whatever works, you know. He's uh. Mid-air punches seems to be doing a pretty good job with the anti-air, as opposed to the kick. You win. You win. Bye, Cammy. We will see you next time. T Hawk or Thunder Hawk. Round one. And so I did some research on T Hawk just, you know, because I was interested. And uh, he is from Mexico. Um, but as far as the Native American, um, you know, references go, uh, during one of his, uh, super attacks for, I think it's, uh, Street Fighter 4, or maybe Street Fighter 5, one of those, right after the super, um, he does a, it's a, the, the Indian salute, or Native American salute. So it just it kind of muddles the water as to what exactly is you know is going on there. Not that it matters, but it is interesting. Brazil. Brazil. Sri Lanka. And again, I'm big on Blanca too. He was one of those that I uh, I gravitated towards when I was younger. I was like, oh, this guy looks cool. Maybe one day I'll do a playthrough um, of you know Blanca, Chun Li, Cammy, some of the more interesting characters. <laughs> Have a sneeze coming on. <laughs> Get it out during the transition. Oh. Uh, that that would have been really bad if you're trying to do something and then um, you sneeze. Come on. 
A lot of times the fireball is good for the opponent relocating. If they're in an area that you don't want them to be in, if you want to get them to move, uh, you can spam a couple fireballs and sometimes the CPU will relocate. Kind of, again, it's, it's tricking the CPU into doing what you want it to do. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Nice. Oh, okay. So the sure you can I'm having some trouble with. But his uh his teleport maneuver uses the same input basically. And it's working fairly decent, so I don't I don't know what's going on. That is odd. And I'm checking the inputs, and it, you know I'm, I'm doing them correctly, so I don't I don't know what's going on. That was Guile. Yeah, Akuma is uh, way overpowered. He's fun to play with. He's an interesting character. But he's a bit bit OP. Round one. Fight. Really love catching him in that. A lot of you can do that in a lot of fighting games. And I, I never used to do that back in the day. I, I didn't really consider it, but then when I once I kind of figured it out, I'm like, oh, that's a pretty cool tactic. As far as you know, you're right beside them after they're down, then you jump up and land an attack as they're coming back up. It works on a lot of fighting games. Oh yeah. Is that a, did we get another perfect that time? Sweet. Sweet. Huh. One of my friends requested me to play Sagat. So might not do that tonight. I'm probably going to wait until I'm a little bit more awake. It's like 2.30 a.m. currently. Round one, fight. And I feel like one, one. grabbing some water and watching some more X-Files for some reason, so I wanted to get one more in. God, this guy's in his outfits, man. Come on. Man, I, I remember having a bit of trouble out of Balrog, but uh, these last playthroughs, he's he's like just a big pushover. And Vega and Sadat, they've um, they've given me a lot of trouble. Vega always did. Vega always had those BS moves where he's like flying around the screen. I remember playing the Genesis version and like screaming at him. Because I get so mad. Just let me beat you, man. Just wanna just wanna be done with it. So I don't have to rent this game again.
Oh, Vega. Round one. All right. I like his stage music and the background is awesome. Oh hell, I better pay attention. Be careful of the fireballs because people will jump right past those things. Oh nice, okay. Uh, caught him in the corner. There you go, nice. I think I think B has a better understanding of like how the combo system works on this game, because like I cannot get true combos to save my life. It's like what I what I do works. But as far as the actual like combos, I don't know. I saw a couple videos today of people doing like showing you how to do combos and I'm like Thailand. I'm like I don't know it, it kind of changes your, your play style and I'd, I'd rather just kind of wing it you know just just react to what they do but it's it's kind of like Round one. where I've played so many fighting games I kind of just throw my entire experience into that Nice. I think I just well I, I took I took a ton of damage but I that felt fast. It's like if you try to attack you leave yourself open to attack. Whoa, okay. Saw that. Didn't see that. Let's get out of that. Okay, it's pretty close here. That was really close. He he brought it in that second round. Oh man! Ugh. Dang, did it, did I remember being a kid, and um, I don't remember what version it was. It had to be for PlayStation, but uh, so somebody had brought it over, and we were playing it. And I remember, I remember the first time seeing Akuma dash out. I was like, "What the crap!" What just happened? Bison's body, like, just lays there. It's a really cool detail. Alright, cool. And Akuma doesn't really have a ending per se in this version uh, instead we get you know the defeated portraits of all the characters which is which is cool I know in some of the later editions HD remake and maybe maybe the one for the switch they gave Akuma a ending and but it's basically just it's kind of like a dark version of Ryu's ending where Akuma's like yeah okay I, I beat everybody and now I'm just gonna walk off into the darkness and I, I think that that's a pretty cool pretty cool ending okay I felt like that was a good run. Felt good.
I appreciate everybody watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I've got to do one more playthrough of this, but I don't think I'm going to do it tonight. Maybe tomorrow. We'll get that in. All right, guys. Take it easy. I will see you next time.